security does not have to compromise people's privacy. They really go hand in hand. They share the same goals, which is to prevent, uh, protect private information or personal data. So how do we do this in our security software? Um, a good way to start is to activate the privacy protector. Right? It, it's a module in Security Center that will ensure the privacy of people that is recorded by our VMS. So this is done to provide identity protection, right? But still safeguard the potential evidence. So you're always keeping two separate video streams. One is fully encrypted, fully protected, and includes the identity of people. And the other one is privatized, so the operators don't really need to see uh, who is in every single video. So it can be used indoors and outdoors, in confined and public areas. Typically, we'll see customers using this in a uh, kind of wide area monitoring where there's a lot of people going through. So as you can see here, being a core module of Security Center, it's activated within the software on any camera in the system. And then in order, in order to optimize the algorithm here, you have many settings to choose from. For example, the size of the pixels, uh, the, the percentage, the, the learning period, and the, the analyzing period. So there's many settings to, to choose from here, just to make sure that it works properly. Then we saw earlier how an evidence management software is kind of the logical next step after you capture video evidence or any other sort of evidence. This is really gonna help people collaborate on investigations in a very secure and efficient way. So we don't have time to show clearance and everything that it does, but genetic clearance offers a way to protect the privacy of people during the investigation. So this is done with the redaction feature. So the software here with a bit of artificial intelligence will uh, detect everybody's faces and then apply masks over everyone's faces. But then it's still up to you or the operator to add or remove masks from that video. So as you can see here, we applied all the masks. It blurred everyone's face except for the suspect. So this really helps to protect the, the identity of everybody else. And then we can securely manage the access to, to all of that evidence. 